Just one? Wow. Hey, what would your mama think if she knew you were spoiling your appetite? Eddie, the lady asked you a question. We ain't going home for dinner anyway, because my mother died and the housekeeper's got the afternoon off. I'm sorry you have no mother, Eddie. But, well, here, here's a good idea. Why don't you both come up to my apartment and I'll make you dinner? Boy! Italian spaghetti, how's that? I like Chinese food better than anything. Okay, Italian spaghetti, Chinese style. I got a better idea. Suppose Eddie and I take you to dinner, Miss Montana. I mean, Miss uh, Daly. Huh? How about it? Boy, is your hair pretty. Is it real? Genuine, Eddie. Everything you see here, it's me. Gosh! You know something, Dad? What? I think she liked us. Well, she liked you, Eddie, that's for sure. No, us. And you know something else? Hmm. I think she's lonesome. Even with all that red hair. Are you lonely, Dad? Sometimes. Then why don't you come right out and ask Dolly to live with us? <laughs> There's an idea, huh? I bet she'd love to live with us. I bet she would. We could make her a sleep in. No, it wouldn't work, Eddie. Why not? Well, why not? For one thing, Mrs. Livingston would have a fit. <laughs> See, Mrs. Livingston does not like floozies. Floozies? Mm. <laughs> Is Dolly a floozy? No, I don't think so. No, I, 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 I don't think so at all. Then why can't she live with us? Eddie, you don't ask a woman to live with you unless you marry her. Well, you could do that later. You know, Eddie, I loved your mother very much, and I still do. And I don't think I'd like to have anybody try to take her place. Not just yet. Oh. Well, if you can't marry her, maybe we can find somebody who can. Well, I don't think she wants a husband. I think she just wants somebody to help her. Well, maybe we could get somebody to help her. I'll think about it. <laughs> 